Good evening, good evening, everyone. Glory to God. I think I am live. This is Dr. Beverly Swanson Powell of Eagle Wings Apostolic Ministries, and I just wanted to share some things with you. If there's anyone available right now, I've been trying to get on for the past 30 minutes. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hello, hello. Glory be to God. I just want to share some things about um, what God is doing right now. He is in the midst of this movement with everything that's going on. And we, we need to talk about that. So, hello, good evening. I know it is late. Glory be to God but I've had some challenges getting on. Glory be to God. So hello, hello. I just want to talk about what the Lord is doing right now. He is truly in the midst of this movement. So we will wait to give a few people an opportunity to come on. In the meantime, let me put what this live is about. There we go. Yes, hi. This is Dr. Beverly Swanson Powell, prophet and oracle of God, Eagle Wings Apostolic Ministries. I just wanted to share uh, what the Lord is doing right now. In the midst of all this chaos, we need to talk about what God is doing. So I'll give it a moment for people to come on live. It is late. I think it's after nine o'clock here. It's pretty late. So, hi, thank you for joining me. Thank you. Hi, Kim. Glory be to God. Thank you for coming on. God bless you. God bless each and all of you for coming on. Alexa, play uh, worship music, level three. Glory to God. Thank you again for coming on and joining me. I just want to talk a little bit about... Um, what the Lord is doing in this movement, in this chaotic time, um, I think it's important to take a look at that. He deems it important because that's why I'm on. Thank you again for coming on. Let me know um, where you're coming on from. I'd like to know that as I have, oh my, I have, it's a blessing. Um, people that, um, are all over the world and that is a blessing so let me know where you're from i like that thank you lord so just give it a minute if you don't mind thank you jesus thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord, thank you, lord for joining me Again, this is Dr. Beverly Swanson Powell, Apostolic Prophet, Oracle of God. Um, the ministry is Eagle Wings Apostolic Ministries. I am in California, uh, the old USA. Um, the people that are joining me from uh, Africa and the Philippines. There's been so much emphasis on what is going on um, and not emphasis on um the one who has started the movement and that's what we're going to talk about tonight even though i know it is late it's okay thank god this this um facebook live will be on the my timeline and it'll be plenty of time for available for people to come and take a look i'm going to go ahead and get started alexa stop so thank you again uh, for joining me tonight um, here on this Facebook Live. It is 
about 9.30 here in California, so it is quite late uh, to come on and do a Facebook Live. But I wanted to um, be obedient to what the Lord is saying, and um, there were some challenges getting on, so I apologize for the hour for those that are here on the West Coast and hope you have an opportunity uh, to see this Facebook Live and what it is here that I am, I, I want to talk about as far as what God is doing. I would like to shed some God-like uh, light on what is happening right now because it's important that our focus, attention is in the right place because the enemies of God are very cunning in the area of distractions. And it's very important in this historical year that we stay focused on what it is that um, is being governed for not just the United States, but the world at this time. Um, so, uh, Father, we just thank you and bless you for those that are here on the line and for those that will come on. Let your word be spoken and not my own. This isn't about me. It's always about you. We thank you that every word is anointed to reach the spirit heart of the man, past the mind of the man. And we thank you, Lord God, for who you are, what you do, in Jesus' name. So on, um, on in May, uh, May 27th of this year, as you know, was the beginning of Pentecost, uh, 50 days after Passover. Now, we have to understand what Pentecost is signifying this year. Pentecost is signifying liberty, freedom, and prosperity. So this is the year of Jubilee. Uh, this is the year of, of course, we're talking Jubilee, the Jubilee, then we are speaking about liberty and freedom. This is a time, if you have not um, heard this before, and I would like to think that you have, that literally the kingdom of heaven is is descended it's lowered itself and it's is covering um the earth um so what's happening is the glory of god is hovering is covering the earth now when that happens we're talking about god we're talking about his kingdom and the glory of god so with that happening what with that then what is happening is that glory that kingdom presence is shaking up the earth people of god that kingdom that presence that glory is shaking up the earth and it is exposing everything that is not of god it is exposing the evil which is what it's meant to do anytime you have uh, the Lord on the scene and the holiness on the scene, then righteousness on the scene, then unrighteousness, injustice, and evil will be exposed. So that is what's happening now uh, all over the world and definitely within this United States. So with the evil being exposed, what has been happening all the time is now being brought to the forefront. The Lord himself is doing that. That's part of this movement. He's the God of justice, not injustice. So all the evil is being exposed, including the racism and what is behind that and the root cause. Because as the Lord is exposing it for what it is, then of course the God that exposed it the God of justice has the answer for that. The reason why that is happening so much now is being brought to the forefront is that we are also in the year of 2020, which is clarity of vision, and of course, the year of pay, which is the voice. So as the Lord is exposing what is going on, by his kingdom presence hovering over the earth, his glory, uh, exposing what is going on underneath the covers that has already been there, but now bringing to the forefront, 
he's exposing that because it is imperative that we have clarity of vision for what is going on in this hour so that we can use our voices to speak against it. This is why the uproar is what it is. It's not just in racism, it's in everything that is not right in the sight of God. It's what's going on in the churches that are being brought to the forefront that needs to be corrected. It's what's going on in our home, our private homes, that is not righteous, right unto the Lord, and it needs to be corrected. It's everything that is against the order of the kingdom of God that needs to be corrected. The Lord himself is in that movement. He is exposing what is unrighteous. Hello, Natasha. The Lord is exposing what is unrighteous. He is exposing what is unholy. He is exposing the evil that is existing so that we can see it for what it is and start using our voices that the Lord has given us to create the change that is necessary. It's important that we see that because when we take a look at that and understand that God is in this movement, then we start, we begin to understand once again that the God who started this is the very God who will end it. The God who exposed it is the very God who has the solution and the resolution in it. So how are we handling this? Now, you have to understand, again, that the enemy takes advantage of every situation and every circumstance that he can. He's cunning and he's vile. So I want you to take a look at the dates. Um, George Floyd I like, um, was murdered. He was killed on May 25th. May 25th, just two days before Pentecost. Just two days. Now, this Pentecost this is a historical Pentecost. It is the onset and the outpouring of the liberty and freedom and prosperity that is governed, sanctioned for this year. So, of course, the enemy, as the Lord is exposing the evil, the injustice and what is unrighteous in the land, the enemy came in and he took this man's life. However, um, I like to I all, I like to say that um, this man George Floyd was martyred. Any time something happens that is that is unjust, that is being used to bring justice, let's not take away from what it really is. He was martyred. He was martyred for the justice that needs to be prevail in this country. So just two days before Pentecost, the enemy strikes in the life of this, this man, this black man, this United States citizen and takes his life. This martyr has caused an uprising in the entire United States. The Lord brought the clarity of vision of the injustice and the voices are now going forth to change this injustice into righteousness. However, God is not in violence. He is not in the looting and he is not in the rioting and he is not in the pilfering as in the destruction that is going on. That is not God. And that is not how we use the voice of God. We use the voice of God to talk about the injustice and what is right and what is righteous. I applaud those that are doing that. It is such, uh, it is so good to see young voices rising up and speaking against the injustice. This is what the Lord wants. Do I would like everyone to take a look at... Um, what this year is. This is actually almost 401 years um, since the onset of slavery. 401 years. Now remember, the Israelites, the chosen people of God, 
were in captivity for 400 years and the Lord came to set them free. So here we are, saints of God, in the year of 2020, prosperity, jubilee, and the supernatural movement of God, which just happens to be a little over 400 years since the onset of slavery in the United States, where the first ship came across in 1619. This is the year of liberty and freedom for Black America. God is in that movement. Let's not defile that by looting and violence. Let's understand that if the, once again, that God is in the movement, that he is also in the resolution and in the answer. And God is love. So anything that is portrayed outside of love in the, in, hate and anger to the point where we are being destructive ourselves is not part of that movement of God. It is part of that movement to stand up for what is right, to stand up for liberty and stand up for justice and stand up and help all to understand that we are all children of the most high God and each and every one of us are valuable. Each and every one of us were made in his image and his likeness, and we shall be treated <clears throat> as such in America and across the world. This is a time that we need to rise up in the image and likeness of the Father that created us. We need to rise up in the auspice of love. It's a time where we need to stop judging each other, even in the churches. The judgment needs to stop. We are here all to come together to show the trueness of our Lord God, who is love, he is righteousness, he is holiness, and he's a just God. And not be critical of each other, but to be supportive of each other. In this movement of the chaos that is going on in the United States and the world, I am only trying to get everyone to see that God is in this movement. His glory is covering the earth. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. He is the one that is showing each and every one within the earth that he created the evil that is going on, the injustice that is going on, so that we have the clarity of that vision, so that we can use our voices in love for change now it is time for change this is the year of change this is the year of transition this is the year of transformation so everything that's going on right now is right on time everything that's going on right now is what the lord is released to happen right now so that people can be set free free in their minds free to live, free to be, the Lord has orchestrated that. So when we take a look at that, then we can reduce the anger and start raising up as a people, not only in some, in the, as a people in the African American and black race, but as a people of God. And you can see that the Lord's hand is in this, even in the midst of the chaos, even in the midst of uh, what is going on, we still see people rising up. We see the embracing going on. We hear the voices rising up, not only in disbelief of what is happening, but in the apologies that is happening across the board, the apologies that's coming up in, in the cities, in the land, the apologies that's coming up with the people that said, I'm sorry, this is going on. We this should stop, it needs to end in all races. You can see that the love of God is in people. Let's focus on that. Let's focus on coming together to end this atrocity of racism that has been within this land for 400 
in almost one year. It's by coming together and speaking against it and calling out for the justice and the righteousness that all people deserve. But let us do it in the love of God, because it is his love that said enough is enough and it's time to expose it so that it can be handled. This, this is a glorious year. This is a year that the Lord has ordained for great and mighty things. So let's not allow the enemy of God to distract us from that. Let, it, let this time be used to rise up and speak about what is right and demand the changes. But let's do it in unity. Let's do it in love. Let's do it together, all of us, all of us together. Let's stand for righteousness, not just in the United States, but around the world. Let's stand for what the Lord God represents. I didn't have anything uh, written down to say. I'm just speaking from my heart. So I, I hope that you're understanding what it is that I've come on here to say. I hope it is making sense to each and all because I don't want us to get distracted from what it is that the Lord is availed for us this year. It's the year of new businesses. It's the year of witty ideas. It's the year of transformation and great growth. This is a year of great unity, but families coming together again, people coming together again, being overshadowed by violence. Let us remember who we are and from whence we came and who we belong to. And let us hold on to the promises that are meant for us for this year. Let us come together and unify. Let us hold on to the love of God and what he represents. We are going to get through this because again, what God has started, he will finish. We're going to get through with this and we're going to come through on top because there is nothing greater, mightier and higher than the most high God. Stay focused, stay focused on what it is that the Lord has you to do this year. Stay focused on the promises of God Stay focused on the doors of opportunity that he's opening. Stay focused on what the Lord has for you to do in this time and this hour. Don't get caught up in video after video of violence and looting and fear. Don't get caught up in that. God is not in that. Stay where the Lord is. He is in the moment and this is a great wonderful opportunity that he has for those that love him and for those that he loves, which is all of us. This is a time to pray. Pray that justice prevails. Pray that justice prevails and it will. Prayer has always been our stance. Speaking out and praying, that hasn't changed. God still takes his words <laughs> and he moves on them. This is a wonderful year. Let it not be overshadowed with the violence. Applaud what is happening, meaning what is happening as the, is the United States of America is being changed. It's being changed. It's undergoing a transformation and it's undergoing a transition. And the movement of that is God himself. And anytime there is transition and transformation, it's an uproar and it's an uprising. But God is in it and it shall end well. Let us continue to unify. Let us continue to act in love, speak in love. Let us continue to be love. We were made in the image and likeness of God. Let us continue to support each other and encourage each other. Let us not stop doing that. We are children of the Most High God, first and foremost. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I just want to pray right now. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you that you are the beginning and you are the end. We thank you that you are in the midst of everything and all things. You are omnipresent, O oh God, and omnipotent. There is nothing that goes on that you do not know about. You are the answer to every question. And we thank you, Lord, that you are in the midst of this chaos. We thank you this is a transition and a transformation for the United States of America and the world. We thank you, O oh God, that we will learn to love and we will learn to unify in the name of the resurrected Jesus. We were made in your image and we were made in your language, your image and your likeness. And it is time for us to speak the love language. Lord, let our voices be heard, the voices of righteousness, the voices of justice, and the voices of holiness. That is your voice. And that is the voice that will prevail. And that is the voice that changes things. Lord, let it overshadow the lies and the deceptions of the enemies of God. In the name of the resurrected Jesus, we call for an end to the violence. We call for an end to the looting. We call for an end of, to the riots, O oh God. And we speak love and unity in this land. We thank you that you, O oh God, has raised us, saved us by your grace, redeemed us by your blood. We thank you that Jesus is the Prince of Peace. And we call for peace to this land. We thank you that this is the time and year of Jubilee. We thank you that this is the year of great promise. We thank you that this is the year of the supernatural. We thank you for the blessings of Abraham that you have for your people this year. And we thank you that you are in the midst of everything and all things. So we look to the hills from where our help comes from and we stand in solidarity, the people of the kingdom of God. And we thank you, Father, for who you are and what you are and what you do in Jesus' name. Again, I thank you for coming on for a few minutes. I hope this is making sense to you. I'm just speaking from my heart. Um, thank you again. Have a good evening. And we'll talk again soon. Be blessed.